Now we are recording on 4K. What do you think of the doorbell? Let's ring it. Was that cool? Did you like that? I think that's pretty cool. Let's do it again. <gasps> oh, I like it. It just works, right? Okay, he is chasing the shadows right now. Pay no attention to the dog. We love you, GSP. And yeah, I mean, it works during the day. It works during the night. It was so easy to install out of, let's see, this is one, two, three. I've installed seven different smart doorbells now. And this one was by far the easiest and the quickest. No wires. And this is the second battery one I've installed. I tried another older version of the ring battery powered and we could not get to work. I'm sorry, Kim. And uh, we, we tried, didn't we, Ellen? We tried, but I failed. Anyway, the Google Nest doorbell, this is their second version, and it just works. It lets me know when this guy is outside. It lets me know if I position his water dish right about there, I can tell whether or not it is empty or full based upon the angle. So if you look there, look at that angle. I mean, it. It could detect that. I think that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can record a message. Da, da, da. Hi, it's Peter. Hey, are, are you recording this? The time is 9.04. I have a meeting in a few minutes. My break is almost over. Anyway, this is the audio we get. Today is October 21st. And just got a notification, doorbell Pietro, back door. Anyway, pretty cool. I haven't had any problems with it whatsoever. And a battery life estimate of two months. So if we have to charge this every two months, what do you think of that puppy? Are you okay with that? Yeah? Whoa, boundaries, come on. Sit, sit. Oh, what a good dog. That's pretty much it. It detects people, it detects animals. Sometimes it mixes those up. But other than that, it's a great doorbell. Well, I hope you enjoyed the intro part, and yes, let the credits roll for the Paramount Kid. If you want to watch the boring setup stuff, go ahead, and the chapter shortcuts are below. You want to close this out, puppy? And cut.
Well, that was fun, right? You know, seeing me do dishes and time lapse with some cool music. So, do you remember that uh, doorbell thing we were testing a while ago? Do you remember it, puppy? Want to go back inside? Hi, puppy. So, here it is. I need to get it off so I can charge it. Hmm. I need that pin thing. There's always a special tool. Good news, I found the key. So on the app, the app is pretty easy to use. We click live video, it's gonna show a video of me. There we go, it's working. But the battery is low and we can tell that by going back clicking on the device, swiping 5%. That was 8% not too long ago. When in doubt, get a stool. Ah, there it is. So I just slide that in through that little gap. There we go. And it just popped off. That was easy. See, right there. Blip. Now we take it inside and charge it. I haven't charged this for a long, long time. Technically, it's still working right now. Do, 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 do. Now we do nice USB. Just a standard little USB port. This one right here. Actually, I have a better idea. We can use this one a little more gently. And now we can plug that in the back. Blip. And we should be able to see 2.5 watts, 1.5 watts, 2.5. 2.0 watts and remotely from the app we can check that it's charging charging slowly 17 hours and 59 minutes until full okay maybe that's too slow <laughs> okay let's let's try charging it a little faster with a USB-C port and this faster cable okay now it's showing two watts Charging slowly. Charging slowly because of extreme temperature. Well, it's at 4%. We'll come back in a bit and see how long it takes. It has been a long day. The device charged. It took hours. It's at 99%. We just put this little thing in there. Like so. Yep, just, there we go. And she's on. So now if I open up the app, doorbell connecting. We are good. Yay! So how's the night vision? It's that good. That's pretty cool.